If you're not familiar with these gurus, get ready to hit subscribe. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated beauty YouTubers. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some lesser-known YouTube beauty experts, as well as those who do have plenty of followers but who still don't get the recognition they deserve. Number 10. Hot and Flashy Most beauty gurus are in their 20s or 30s, but this pro shows that you can be beautiful at any age. So this video is more for the mature gal or the mature person who has not only hooded eyes, but crepey, droopy, saggy eyelid skin. So if you're with me in this, let's give this a try. Angie of Hot and Flashy is an expert when it comes to skincare and makeup for more mature women and created her channel for those in their hot flash years. With the tips and tricks I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you how to use makeup to your advantage so that it enhances your beauty instead of detracting from it and making you look older. By offering up content for this often ignored demographic, she has carved a niche for herself on the platform. But the best part is, her videos are totally applicable to just about anyone, regardless of age. Her informed and calm demeanor helps to make her one of our favorites. My favorite drugstore traditional lipstick is still the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks. This is 940 Touchable Taupe. As you can see it over there compared to the Hourglass. It's a little bit more brown, a little bit less pink, but it's still a really beautiful color that looks great on the lips. Number 9. Stephanie Nicole if you're ready to do a deep dive into skincare, look no further than Stephanie Nicole. In the winter months when there's forced um, heat, especially, my skin gets really dry. Um, it can happen in the summer too with the recycled like air conditioning and things like that, but especially when it's dry, um, my body kind of like shrivels up. So I don't want to use especially any harsh cleansers. For those who feel intimidated by the idea of crafting a skincare routine for themselves, Stephanie breaks down all the information you could possibly need and a whole lot more. Even though this is an oil, it still has uh, salicylic acid in there. And this is the Sunday Riley UFO. I didn't really like this when I first tried it because I was spreading this all over my face like I normally do with like their Juno or something. And since this has salicylic acid in it, it can be drying even though it's still housed in an oil if your skin is really dry. When it comes to choosing sunscreen, figuring out what type of vitamin C serum you should use, or knowing the difference between a retinol and a retinoid, she's your personal YouTube expert. Her reviews are always refreshingly honest, and you know she's never swayed by collabs or sponsorships. Um, this does go underneath my makeup pretty nice, but again, based on the ingredients, the second ingredient in here is a form of alcohol, um, and then the third ingredient is that one that's like, be afraid for your life. So uh, this would be a skip for me. Number eight, that girl Shay XO. This relatable YouTuber has been in the game for years, and yet has never really made it big. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be testing out some new products from a ton of brands. I have Huda Beauty, I have Beauty Bakery, I have ColourPop, like just a ton of stuff. Um, some things I purchased myself and some things were set in PR. I'll let you guys know what is what. And yeah, we're just gonna be playing with new makeup. I'm excited, it's been a long time. She offers up great tutorials and product reviews, and her channel's light on gimmicky concept videos if you like to avoid those. She also often shares lifestyle posts and has brought viewers along with her on her weight loss journey. I have been tracking all of my weight loss journey in videos, so I will put my video playlist um, down below. It's on my main page of my channel also, but I'll link all my videos too of my different weight loss update videos. Because she consistently comes across as down to earth and laid back, Shay is the type of vlogger who you feel like you could be best friends with. She was actively preparing for her wedding towards the end of 2018. So for any brides to be looking for makeup inspiration, be sure to check her out. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm actually going to be doing a little wedding makeup trial on myself. This is the look that I tried today. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want for my wedding. I was just going to sit down and play with makeup today and try to figure out what I want. So I thought, why don't I do it with you guys? Number seven, black is beautiful. Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Many of the top beauty gurus on YouTube are white women. But in recent years, there has refreshingly been several breakout channels that are run by women of color. Today, I'm coming to you with my 2017 staple products. I will share with you what products I'm using in my hair currently. And um, for the most part, those of you who have been following my protective style journey, then you already know that I've been wearing my hair in wigs since September. One of the best is Black is Beautiful, which was created by Janelle B. Stewart, who also founded the website KinkyCurlyCoilyMe.com. Both her site and YouTube channel focus on natural products and natural hair care. 
Stewart has been seen as an expert by many in the community, and if you're a woman looking for guidance to transition to natural hair, you needn't look any further. I say leave the heat. Um, yes, you can get heat damage from blow drying, even though people will say, no, it's, you know, it's indirect heat or whatever. That's not true, especially if you're using a comb attachment. The heat is on your hair and it is damaging the protein bonds in your hair. Number six, Emily Noel. If you're looking to take a break from your standard beauty YouTubers, make sure to check out Emily Noel. Thank you for requesting this look that I busted out over the weekend. You don't have to spend a lot to get a super glam look. Emily is a definition of relatable and puts a major focus on affordable drugstore products because most of us can't afford to blow our entire paychecks at Sephora. This video is gonna be kind of about like getting more bang for your buck out of your gift card, some of the recommendations I wanna give. Some of these things are like Emily Award winners and like now's your chance to get on it. But then at the end of the video, outside of these sale things, um, just some stuff that I really like that I think is very no fail, some really like most used stuff. She gives direct and to the point product reviews and you can always trust that she's sharing her honest opinion. One of the highlights of her channel are the Emily Awards, where she highlights her favorite products in a number of different categories for that year. Every product will be listed and linked below if you'd like to follow along or if you're out shopping and you need to go back and like, what was the winner for whatever category? You can always just check the description below this video. Number five, Gothamista. The skincare expert has blown up in terms of popularity recently and for good reason. From the beginning of this year, drugstore skincare has just been killing it. That's not to say that everything that's been coming out has been good. A lot, most of it has not been. Renee of Gothamista will teach you everything you could possibly need to know about skincare and gives tons of product recommendations in a variety of price ranges to help you set up a perfect skincare routine. So Drunk Elephant C Firma is one of the first vitamin C serums that I used after SkinCeuticals. I actually started using this in the winter time and at that time my skin was was sort of on the dry side. And I remember just loving this, the way this felt because it just felt so um, comforting, hydrating, soothing. Her presence is always soothing and serene, but every single one of her videos is packed full of useful knowledge. You may find yourself wanting to take notes as you watch because her channel feels like a beauty masterclass. I've been using and loving May Loves Glow Maker. I do love a liquid vitamin C and the extra hydration it gives. I've also been trying out some anhydrous vitamin Cs as well, like this new one from L'Oreal. Totally depends on how my skin feels. Number four, Samantha Ravindahl. Today, the hair is up because we're getting out of business. This YouTuber definitely has a solid following with nearly a million subscribers at the time of writing but we still want to draw attention to her because of her unconventional approach. When you're thinking of words to describe me, I mean, what comes to mind? Thorough, consistent, never cutting corners, and I intend to stand true to that today. She may have made a name for herself following the typical beauty vlogger formula, but her brash and bold personality have always made her stand out from the crowd. F I hate contouring. Now I feel like my nose looks like it's broken. Or does it look okay? I don't know, I can't tell, the camera's too far away. <laughs> More recently though, she has drawn back the curtain on what it's like to have a career as a beauty YouTuber and given her fans some insight into the industry and the perils of being part of it. If you want a glimpse behind the scenes of this world, her channel is for you. If you are an influencer, don't undervalue yourself. Don't feel like you are entitled for asking market rate in terms of payment. Recognize that brands are not doing anything to be nice. They are doing things for business purposes only. Number three, Jamie Page. Jamie Page has almost half a million YouTube subscribers, and we're totally confident that as time goes on, she'll just continue to amass more. Jamie is cool and relatable, offering up doable makeup tutorials and thorough product reviews. I found this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Snow Cap, which is basically the exact same shade. Now, I not only wanted to find a dupe that was the same shade, but I also wanted to find something that was very similar to the texture of the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. She works with lots of old favorites, and while she does of course cover new product launches, she sticks to some tried and true staples. One of our favorite series that she does is Five Best and Five Worst, in which she looks at the five best and worst products in a category. So my number one palette that is probably number one on my list is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is probably the palette that I reach for the most just because it has probably some of the best colors and my most used shades in here. Also, as a bonus for the Canadians out there, Jamie is a Montrealer and always offers up product pricing in Canadian dollars. Number two. Nima Tang. I was compelled to do this not only because a lot of you guys wanted to see it, but because I felt like if I didn't do it, then 
it's just gonna keep, we're like the darker side of the spectrum is just gonna keep going unnoticed. If you're into the beauty community, it's very likely you've heard of Nima Tang's series, The Darkest Shade, but it's possible you don't actually follow her channel. This is the shade NW58, the one that I'm wearing right now, and the NW58 is described as being rich espresso with neutral undertones for deep skin, and I definitely agree with the neutral undertones. I don't think that it's too red, but I do, and I don't think that it's too yellow. I think it's like a perfect right in between shade. Tang made a name for herself by calling out brands by testing the darkest shade of foundation they offered on her deep toned skin, revealing that many companies don't have a very diverse or representative shade range. Though this is a cornerstone of her channel, she also offers up tons of tutorials for darker skin makeup lovers, as well as offering some universally applicable tips for everyone. And with blush, you don't want to take it too far down. I honestly have realized that um, doing contouring and highlighting the right way um, with dark skin, it, you actually, it actually kind of just creates its own little contour. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. This is the finished makeup look, everyone. This is the full face using Clean Beauty. I am absolutely thrilled with how this makeup looks. It is so natural looking. It looks like my real skin. I look like I'm freaking glowing from within. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I feel like this looks so good. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Honey Mask. It's a superfood spin on the original Clear Improvement, which I've used for years. This charcoal honey version has bamboo charcoal to detoxify, as well as wildflower and fermented honeys to nourish. So it's basically a clay mask that conditions the skin too. Okay, so this is a very different looking palette for me. There's a lot of like pinks and purples, and then there's this guy right here. These do all look like really nice shades. Oh gosh, the mirror reveals all the secrets. The Chamber of Secrets. So this is a pretty fun little palette. I'm actually excited about these down here, these kind of like aqua turquoise deep colored blue greens. First up, we have the Huda Beauty Little Mini Obsession Palette. I feel like I've been using these for a while now. I use this off camera quite often. I love traveling with them. So I have the Warm Brown Obsessions and the Smoky Obsessions. I also have the like colorful ones that she did like the jewel tones, but these are the ones I use the most. I'm gonna go in with this pinky color. Did I point to the pinky color? Yes, pinky. Pinky and the brain. I wouldn't say it's like blinding, but it's pretty. Number one, Mariah Leonard. When you watch even just one of Mariah Leonard's videos, you'll quickly come to feel like you already know her. So today I am going to be talking obviously about what I thought were the best products of this year. Some of these products are things that you will obviously be like, she said she's loved this 500 times and I'm ready to die now. I get it, I'm just redundant by nature. She almost always sticks to wearable neutral looks. And she has tons of tips for creating a natural final effect by using the right products and a light hand. She doesn't waste time in her reviews, always appearing to be well informed on whatever topic it is that she's covering. And if you have trouble pulling your lashes out, my left eye here, the lashes are a different curl than this eye. Hit the inner corner like this, and that kind of slanted vibe will give the rest of your eye that look, even though like when I turn like this, you can tell that these are curling back inward. She also has a hilarious deadpan sense of humor and honesty about her, which makes her someone you'd probably want to hang out with in real life. I just want to make it clear that in my last two videos, I have been wearing my pajamas. So that's the level I'm at in my personal life right now. It's a great time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.